Yeah, hello there. I have my 1986 Volkswagen diesel Jetta here. I'm going to put a head gasket in it. I've been meaning to for months. I've owned the car, but been busy with other stuff. As you can see I just brought it in from the snow outside. And it is the two-door model, which makes it sort of scarce. But yeah, just a little general overview here before I start tearing anything apart. What you have. Battery's been out. Have that on the charger. It was dead. So, already, let's get started. Okay, so far, not a big deal yet, but got the air cleaner off and the air duct. It's actually laying over there. I've taken, got the... I don't know if you can see it or not, the lever radiator hose off. Yeah, we can see it from down here. But I've disconnected that to drain the coolant out of the radiator. Now I'm going to take and remove these two bolts here and take the thermostat out and that'll drain the coolant out of the block. And as you can see, the reason I'm doing this, it had an oil leak on the head gasket that's been running down, lowering the compression, hard to start, especially cold weather. So that's sort of where we're at up till now. Alrighty, got the valve cover off, which is sort of more or less cut and dry. Eight ten millimeter head bolts, disconnect the breather pipe. Now what we want to do, the timing belt has to come out to pull the head off is remove these covers on the front of the engine which there's the upper one and then if you look down here in the wheel well gotta remove this plastic apron here and that'll give us access here to get the crankshaft pulley off and get the lever cover but just a little bit of an update like I say a few more pictures but yeah so far so good Going good. All right, made some progress here. Now you want to get it located at the top dead center on compression stroke. Now, how do you know you've done that? Well, right here in the top of the bell housing, there's a hole with a plug that comes out. I'd show you the plug, but it was missing on this car since I bought it, so apparently somebody has already messed with it. But what you want to do, try to show you here. The camera will zoom in. Let's see here what. Yeah, maybe here. But there's a little pointer here in the bell housing, right here that sticks down. And there's a little, yeah, there you can actually see it, and a line in the flywheel. And you want to line those up. And once you get that, here at the back of the camshaft is this slot that goes across. You want to take, I made homemade holding tool. Now if I find where I put it. Okay. Let's see here. Well, while I look for that, also up here at the injection pump, you want to lock it in place. Okay, this and I know this one I found. I used a half-inch metal dowel rod, had to slightly grind the end off, but you just want to stick that right here, this hole, right into there, and let's see here once. Yep, there it went. Just lock it in place in the back cover. Okay. Oh, and there is the my homemade camshaft tool. I want to take and put that cross back here where we were at. Okay, you can see that. Sorry about the loading. Not the best. Okay, and. Another couple notes here. Like I said, there's another look at the front of the motor with everything off the cover. And down here, 
I used a 19 millimeter socket on a ratchet to locate top dead center turning clockwise. I always turn it the engine direction. Okay. Oh, and that's a good note there. If you're used to working on your Ford and Chevys, you always want to take and this bolt out of the center. Well, unless you want to take the crankshaft sprocket off for placing oil seal, which looks like I have to, you don't actually have to remove that or mess with any pullers because the pulley that comes off, a little hole here, and that just slides on here and you line it up with that little tab and that is held on, supposed to be held on by six millimeter head bolts. Be sure to use a six millimeter Allen key. Don't use an SAE that you think fits tight enough. That's did that about eight years ago. First Volkswagen on a CV axle, and it cost me a lot of work to round one out. But yeah, that's basically pretty simple. This sort of, a, like I say, wanted to point that out that if you're not pulling the crankshaft pulley to replace the seal, you don't have to mess with the bolt in the middle. Okay, and that basically concludes up to this point. Any questions, feel free to ask them. Alright, in an earlier video, I showed the timing cover off. Now we have the timing belt removed. In the earlier installment, I showed the marks that lined up. I'm in the process now of removing the injection pump. I do already have the pulley for the pump off. It's laying over here. Okay, there's the pulley. And I can say you gotta take this nut off. I just turned it back on here so I didn't lose it. Get you out of there. And then this, like I say, keyway sits right in on this. But anyhow, I had to remove that. The excess, there's a nut here, one down here, and then from around the back side of the injection pump. There's a bolt right here that needs to come out and this little guy down here which is an Allen key. And I of course had to remove the diesel injection lines, plug the fittings there up here on the injectors. I'm going to get those when I get the pump off. And the lines I'll take you and show you over here. You can just remove them sort of always one piece. But yeah, there they are. You don't have to mess around, like I say, taking them and doing them off separate. They come off as one 17 millimeter line wrench is what I use to remove them. And see here. And of course you had to unhook your throttle cable, which went on right here. And then hook through this with the brackets. And your like I say, there is the accelerator cable. Then your cold start handle, which was a matter of a screw. Actually, I should wait till I take this off and show you. You can see it better, but it's down in there. You loosen straight screwdriver or a 7 millimeter socket, this one was. And then there's a clip that held this right in here. You have to slide off, and the little clip is right here laying. Okay. Let's see. Oh, right here. There's the clip that held that in. It just slid down in. And that pretty much, other than the next I have all the bolts loose, it's pretty much this far along in this. I'm actually what I'm working on, but I figured I'd do this in steps as I'm pulling the head off to do a head gasket. But like I said, I figured along the way, do this in parts, so if somebody was just doing the timing belt, they can watch up to their injection pump, can watch that part, and so on. Alrighty, thank you for watching.